Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm on the west side. I got to bring a box downtown in Brooklyn, and uh, I was going to do a video. It's kind of weird to think about it, but it's a video about whether it's worth living in New York, Florida, California, Portland. These are all places that are dear to my heart. You know, Florida never really has been dear to my heart. The, um, the problem with Florida is it rains a lot and it's very hot. Humid. Not all parts of Florida, though. But I never really liked the weather in Florida. California, on the other hand, is just amazing. But that's, you know, the mountains, the, the things in California... They're, they're all amazing. But, you know, <clears throat> what this video is really going to be about is, is it worth it to live out there? Now, I haven't lived out in L.A. in uh, probably 10 years, you know. So I don't know if L.A. is still worth it. But it seems like it, it's a nice place to live. I mean, when it was when I was there ten years ago, I don't know how to, what it's like now. You know, I've talked to friends out there. They say that the um, standard of living has went down greatly. Like what you need to to survive has went went down immensely. So that's a, a big issue. Even in Santa Barbara, where I was working before too, I used to I used to commute up from LA County up to Santa Barbara on a on a BMW, uh, and I used to work on wireless sites. But you know the um, the situation in California is rough to live, as most places are. You know, in New York is a rough place to live too. As far as Florida goes, I've, I've been down there recently, in uh, West Palm Beach, Miami, all that area, and uh, I would say Florida is a no-go, uh, because it's completely inundated with people. They, I mean, they've completely inundated it, so, you know, if you think you're going to go down there and find an affordable place to live, or you know, find an affordable vehicle. Let's say you're moving from New York and you don't have a vehicle. And you're thinking, all right, let me let me go down to Florida, make a clean start. That's not going to happen. Uh, everything is jacked up down there. Because people, you know, the, the cost of living has went up immensely. And so has for everyone. So people are just jacking up prices on everything. They're trying to get away as the most that they can possibly get. So that's a big no-go. LA, I don't know. I would have to get input from you guys, from from commenters on what the situation in LA is because I I haven't been out there for 10 years and a lot has changed, you know. Supposedly they're going to be working on affordable housing initiatives. They have propositions already passed, you know, to change zoning. I, I don't know what the outcome of, of that will be. I mean, I just don't know. It's hard to say. Trying to get my mirrors right. So yeah, the 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 real issue with 
California is affordability. That's always been an, it's always been the case, though. I mean, you go into Vons or any one of the Gelsons or whatever, you know, any one of the um, supermarkets there, and you're dealing with very high cost of living. You know, the uh, Robertsons, you know, the, or Albertsons. I'm sorry. It's uh. It's shocking when you go in there to buy some groceries, you know. You go to, the only, the only cheap place to buy food is like Food Lion, you know, but that's not even really cheap. The, uh, that's the, you know, the deal. Very, very, very high cost of living. And that's what I'm hearing from friends that are out in L.A., you know, that the cost of living is extremely high. Like extremely, we're not even just a little bit. We're talking major. Well, this is super jammed up. So, you know, that's a, that could be a, a no go. California, you know, you don't. I don't know uh, what the deal is. You know, but. Whether or not the changes will happen to make it more affordable would be interesting to find out. Something popped out of here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so getting back to the Florida thing, that's absolutely from my... This is recent going down there because I thought that I would get a vehicle down there because I have a... I mean, you've seen it from my videos. I don't use my vehicle much at all. I have a, a 2001 Ford Escape that I've had for many years, it's 21 years old, and, you know, I, I, all I've done to it is just keep replacing stuff when it breaks. Timing chain, every, you know, actually, no, I haven't done the timing chain. It's got 200,000 miles on it, uh, plus, you know, and I've done everything just to keep it running. Replace control arms, sway bars, uh, tie rods, inner and outer, you know, uh, bearings, wheel bearings, uh, shocks all around, struts all around. So yeah, I've done everything that the vehicle has needed to keep on the road, and I'm not riding it till the wheels fall off. It's still good. You know, I've always put new tires on it, kept it straight, you know, and uh, it's running fine. It's no issues right now, but I needed to get a new vehicle because if I, you know, if I hit 300,000 on that thing, it's only, you know, that's going to be like a record mileage on something like that. I don't know how much longer you could drive it, you know. It's a Ford Escape, but it does have a V6, so that's a nice engine. It's actually got some balls to it, like it's a little bit of a sleeper. When someone gets next to you and they, they think they're just going to blow your doors off and you just... You, you toast them because they're in like a little four-cylinder. 
a little four banger <clears throat> and you know on the um, on the Ford you can just like stomp on it and that thing just moves you know but anyway um, the situation with the vehicle it needs to be changed so while I was in on my last trip to Florida I figured all right let me you know it's a good place to buy it used to be a good place to buy motorcycles and vehicles now now that everybody's moving to Florida and I can't tell you there's a lot of people that are moving to Florida most of the people don't have any more work and you know they're just moving they're they're combining together finances with family and uh, just going down to Florida you know that's that's what they're doing <clears throat> I know I know quite a few people have done that you know they they just basically throw in the towel and their work and go down to Florida and uh, you know, in the beginning, it might seem like a good lifestyle, but there are some serious differences between Florida and New York. One, number one is the weather. It, you know that it's it's extreme. It's a bit extreme there. It rains sometimes. You know, it rains a lot, but it doesn't rain like here where it rains for two days. You know, usually not. Anyway, you know, but sometimes it does too. But the rain down there is quite severe. The the humidity, the the high temperatures. And I went down in June, so it was, or August, I'm sorry, it was brutal. I mean, I, I, I nearly, like, exploded a couple of days when I was working outside. I don't have a, um, I didn't have an air-conditioned garage to work in, so I was working on the KLR. And I, it was so hot that I actually didn't get done all the things that I needed to get done on the KLR. Like, I, f I finished almost everything. <clears throat> But the one that I just finished recently was the throttle cable. I had to do that outside, you know, in in the office in New Jersey because I just did, I ran I completely ran out of time in Florida, and I, I didn't have any more time. There was not even time to just enjoy a little vacation. It would have been nice, you know, to have a little vacation, but that didn't happen. So yeah, the uh, the Florida situation though, I thought, okay, let me get a vehicle because I I bought a motorcycle down there before. I bought a DRZ 400 for a good price, and and I've been able to buy vehicles down there, and have I bought a you know other motorcycles down there, which uh, was decent. But I started to no I started to notice that. Friends and family members started telling me, hey, you know, things are really changing down here. And, you know, expense-wise, went to the supermarket, I noticed it's not as bad as, say, California, but the cost of living has definitely increased, and the availability of housing and things like that has, has increased greatly. So yeah, those things have really increased greatly, and it's affected the quality of life in Florida immensely, and I've noticed it, you know. And then the other thing that I noticed was my wife said, you know, okay, what would happen if we decided to move to Florida? You want to check it out and see? And uh, I said, oh wow, this is all blocked off. This is fucked up, man. fuck are you looking at fucking all right so anyway um you know like the everything's changed big time you know and friends family everybody said you know what's going on you know like what it's like our lifestyle is changing big time here and uh i said yeah i think so and i went to go look for a vehicle 
and they were then you know I went to a couple of different dealers and it was just insane like I was looking for a van and they were like no we don't get vans you know when they come in they go to the highest bidder which you know vans we know everybody's been doing the van life you know it's huge it's a it's a market that has uh, taken over immensely you know So yeah, the whole situation is is huge with the van life. We we already know that. And it's been like that for a while. So it's only exacerbated, you know. So that that's what the dealer said. He said, "You want a van? High ceiling convertible?" No. He goes, "That's those are go to the highest bidder when they come in. They last about a day." So that was that that was that. And There's nothing more you can do about it. You know, vans are not going to be hot. You know, so that's basically what what I determined. And then other vehicles, they were trying to pull off for other vehicles. You know, that were not were high mileage and not worth the money they were asking. It it was just so jacked up. It was ridiculous. And they were asking me for pricing that I just couldn't uh, support trying to push you into loans that would just not make sense. So the pricing is jacked up is what I'm trying to say. There were no new vehicles. Like The new vehicles they seem to be holding. Um, I think they're holding for bidders. You know, they had a, a nice uh, Jeep and they were like, oh no, that's uh, being held, that has a deposit. You know, everything had a deposit on it. So I was getting a little scared because I'm thinking to myself, this guy's telling me there are no vans because they go to the highest bidder. New vehicles are all held. It doesn't, and he's very vague about, you know, who's holding them. So it makes you scared because you're like, what, what's happening here? You know, am I a buyer or not? You know, and maybe I'm not a good buyer. Maybe I'm not a optimal buyer because maybe they're looking for someone who comes in with cash and goes over asking price. That's what they're looking for. Anyway, that's what I feel. So it's not going to happen, you know. So the vehicle thing was out. As soon as I got there, I realized, no, this is not going to happen. And then the other problem was the the housing. We looked at housing, and we were just in, we were just completely shocked at what they were asking for for housing. I mean, it was. Uh, <laughs> that they were asking was insane you know they were they're way over what the price would be it's just jacked up again the, the same thing high bidder so I wasn't you know and I didn't like what I saw because I know what the Florida housing pricing I've seen it before you know I've looked at houses down there and what I could see was a 30 percent 40 percent increase which is insane you know how are you going to support that let's say let's say you buy one of those houses you're not going to be able to sell it if you need to in an emergency you never buy a house that you can't sell because you don't know what your lifestyle will change and i learned that and i'm not just saying that from what people told me i'm saying it from actual experience you know like i got hurt bad in california buying a house over asking because i loved it and then when it came time to lifestyle changes, I got hurt really bad selling it. So, you know, and those kind of things will hurt you so much that it, it could be life-changing, you know. So you, you can't overpay for a house of what the market bears. It's just, it's just a fact because life can change. And I learned that the hard way. So that's what I see. So California, I'd love to hear input. Florida, definitely, without a doubt, my opinion, it's a no-go until things calm down. Other parts of U.S., I, I don't mean I'd love to go to Portland or Seattle, but they seem to be up in turmoil right now. Um, you know, but that you can't go by 100% by the news. You know, but I don't see jobs there when I look. I don't see a lot of jobs. I I see like recruiters. 
posting for positions, but but I don't see tons of jobs. I don't see tons of openings. So the the West Coast, it looks tough, man. And they're going through a lot of changes. They're trying to figure things out. It may be a good place to go later. New York is still good. Like when I was working out. Uh, the owner of the beefy gas station he asked me to come out to his place in Queens and do some work on cameras and he was like don't leave New York because he goes I have friends that have left New York and they regret it you know like he was just stay in New York for as long as you can because it's still the place where all the work is and it's probably true but you know it does wear on you it wears on you big time you know you know it actually doesn't wear on me much but it wears on my wife you know she she feels like uh, it's a rough place, and sometimes she gets annoyed with things here. It's so tough, you know. It's not an easy place to uh, to make it. So that was the that's my thing. New York is still good. And I'm hearing that from a lot of people. So, the California, I'm not sure. I'd love to love to get the input. That's my second request for that. I know I keep repeating myself. Well, I'm here. I got the box I brought. I'll see everybody on the next one. Love, love the feedback and and uh, that I got on the uh, windscreen. It was great. And uh, just looking a little feedback on what you think of New York and what you think of California and Florida. Let me know in the comments. Thanks.